Oh, we've got a doctor here who's giving us more than just the news. He's giving us the skinny on liposculpture. Dr. Mitchell Goldman is here with us and just back from Ireland. Thank you very much for joining us today. And good morning, Jen. Good morning. A lot of people are going to be wondering, though, what is the difference, just the name alone, liposculpture versus liposuction? Well, there's two answers. One is that it's marketing. If you say liposculpture, it's less invasive than liposuction. But another really good one is the type of the cannula we use. And I don't know if we can focus in on these instruments, but one of the instruments, this one over here, is a real big instrument. And this is the kind of instrument that was used in the old days, and sometimes even now, to suck the fat out. And what liposculpture is, is we're now using an instrument that's much, much smaller. So it uh, leaves less scars, it makes it less irritating, it's um, less this painful. Like, yeah, I was going to say, this looks like it could be a much more painful because you have a bigger part in, in any other part of the body. And, yeah, the, the old-fashioned ones were really big, more than four millimeters or more than the size of a pencil. The new ones are, would be like the inside of a pencil. So it's a way of sculpting more than sucking. So the percentage of redos is, is a lot less than... Well, that and the percentage of patients that don't like it is a lot less. But the most important thing is now when we do the liposculpture technique, you can have it done on a Friday and be back to work on a Monday, full exercising a week later. So it's much, much different than the old days when you were out for almost a month you know, before you start feeling really good. And because it's smaller, you can go into all sorts of different crevices better than you would with the, uh, a larger instrument. Yes, you know, you can treat people that are overweight, but I also treated a woman who, I won't say her name, but she was voted best body in Los Angeles three years in a row. And I would treat just little teeny areas because she was obsessed. She was a body double in Hollywood. And so you can treat even the smallest areas and really sculpt it beautifully. How does the method work though first of all well let's see the first visual because okay. the first slide we're going to show shows basically that's what the skin looks like and that yellow stuff is the fat we want that and out of us yes ma'am and what we're doing is you see all those little holes that are being made those okay. holes are basically we're sort of sculpting or we're taking out the fat and the next visual is going to show you what happens basically oh they skipped a visual but whatever this is really what happens. It's where you're basically taking someone and you see the before on one side in the white panties and then the after on the other side. And you can see we've sculpted her outer and inner thighs. A big question is, though, a lot of people, that's the second visual yeah, you're looking for there. Uh, because what, what happens there is by taking out that fat in the middle, the skin actually contracts, and that's what makes you lose inches. It's very typical for a, a woman to lose maybe two breast sizes. To go from, you know, like a, a 12 to an 8 is not uh, uncommon. For a guy, if we're doing the waist, to go from a size 36 to a 32 is not uncommon. That's sort of what you want to get into. I was just going to say, can you do it on any part of the body, not just in? Her thighs. Yeah, it's oh, like, she did it on her, under her chin. Right, and that's very common. You know, people as we grow older, we get more fat under the chin, and you can see there a very simple procedure. It takes 15 minutes. Um, the patient's back to work almost the next day, and that can give you just a, a nice, more youthful look. That's a lot less expensive than getting a full-blown facelift. It is. Now, this is someone like me, but it's a, it's a, not me actually. He's got the love handles. No, there. I wouldn't wear that kind of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah. Well, that's Diane. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's the love handle kind of look, and so you can see. Even guys are coming in, and in fact, I would say about 20% of the patients I do are men now. It's, so it's not just for women. There's the old adage, though, that the, everyone says that once you get the liposculpture or liposuction, that the fat comes back somewhere else. Is that true? No, no way. And this patient, just to show the last visual, that's just a tummy. And so this patient did not have a tummy tuck. It's basically a little liposculpture, and you can see how much prettier they use. But to answer your question, if I take the fat out of one area of the body, and you, like, eat 10 cheesecakes or a lot of food, or or just go to McDonald's, you're not going to grow a hump on your back with more fat or get fat coming out of your cheek. It basically redistributes around your whole body.